All right, guys. Today, I'm going to talk about the fact I tried counselling recently. Um, how did it go? What it was like? And what it's led to? So, um, basically, I just got a text randomly a while ago saying, your local doctors are trying out this, they called it social prescribing. So, um, it's just a place for you to go and talk and they the aim of it was to take like stress off of the GP for mental health things so people weren't calling up and using all the doctor's time for cases of the mind so you talk to the social prescribing team instead and they texted me so they were like are you interested so I just texted back and said yeah why not so I went and tried it out and what was it like? So I went down to my doctor's and I met up with someone and they just asked me, how's it going, really? And I just started talking in a similar way that I'm talking to you. They just asked what I do, sort of how I've been feeling. And yeah, well, I'm sort of um, quite an open book, really. If people ask me how I'm doing, as long as it's sort of the right time, uh, I will say. So, yeah, I'm more likely to go and try out these services, really, than quite a lot of people. So, yeah, I, I just said how I felt. Said that I've been uh, missing having like a sort of team to work with. I guess a community. That's what I really said. Said I'm missing having a community. Um, you know, I used to work in a tight knit team making um, videos for the NHS and that sort of evaporated. And then since then, I, I just told her, like, I've, I've been a bit lost, really. I, I feel purposeless. Um, I'm not really I don't feel like I'm working towards something anymore. And I said, I just want to, you know, be part of something, really. That's all I'm looking for. And um she said, why don't you contact this dude who's running a mental health group? Um, see if you see if you want to volunteer there, just try it out. And I'm actually going to that today. Um, it's like a group, I think it's just for men, I'm not sure, but like from midday till 2pm on Saturdays. And I'm going to go try that out and see what's going on. I think the aim of it was to be like, become some sort of provider or something to become part of a team I think that's why she suggested it because he was looking for like help with it so I thought why not try it out and yeah I, I guess I'll make a video on how that goes but the counselling yeah it was it was all right I've got a follow-up appointment in a couple of weeks to talk about what I've been doing since and it just made me take that moment to think about like what am I doing and then I started making these videos about a couple of days after. I started just talking to the camera because I realised just sort of talking about what's going on in my head actually makes me think about it in a way. Like I might think about how I'm feeling and then I might not actually make any actions on it. Whereas like, like I keep saying, when I commit it to the SD card and upload it, um, it sort of makes me take action on what I'm feeling. That's what I think anyway. Or at least it lets me sort of articulate it better to myself and to other people. And and then I can try and actually make a change going forward. So that's that's what's going to happen. I'm going to try that out. Overall, the counselling was good. We talked for like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, yeah, it was quite back and forth. She asked me how like, I would prefer it if, she, if I just want to talk at her or if she wants me to ask questions and I said, please ask me questions because it'd be a bit awkward if I just talked at you. Um, yeah, it'd be weird just to talk at someone, I feel like, even though that's what I'm doing to you at the camera, but to me right now, it's just a camera. Like if you were a person here with me, I'd, you know, I'd like a back and forth, like we ask each other questions. Um, <laughs> Yeah, otherwise I'd just feel a bit awkward, you know. If the other person's just sat there saying nothing, I'd feel like, well, I'm sure it's, you know, is it your turn to speak now? I've talked for so long. <laughs> or, yeah, I don't know. But it's been making me think, like, um, these past few days, you know, I'd say about half a week ago, 
well, a week ago I was feeling down and then I was feeling great. Like a couple of days ago, I had like a lot of energy and now I'm feeling low again. And I, I've been feeling like my, my emotions is sort of on a curve. And so it's like, um, I feel good, then I'm low, then I'm high and then I'm low. Um, yeah, it does feel like that. Like I gradually become like quite bad and then come back and I feel quite good. It happens over like a couple of days. So I have a couple, like two to three days where I feel a bit like crap or like just ge generally like, what's the point in existing? And then I come back and I'm like, I kind of forget about it and I feel good. I'm living in the moment and I come back down and I feel like, what's the point? Like, why am I here again? And I'm in that sort of phase right now. Uh, past couple of days where I feel like what is the point what am I doing with myself what is the future I don't know and then I'll come back up I, I think anyway and I think actually I, I feel like that's just sort of natural um, but also I feel like it's actually related to how fatigued I am from working out where <laughs> I think like I I keep using the gym too much as a crux so like I'll go to the gym and train and I'll get myself so fatigued where like I got to a point where like my elbow was hurting like, I, I I think it's a bit better now like pushing my head was hurting a lot here so like, it's just really hurting and inflamed I'm really sore um I'm just generally quite fatigued and I find I sleep a bit worse and I'm in that state but I find it hard to restrain myself from exercising because it's like one of the only things I've got like that I can do. It's like work on myself, like I'm progressing on myself. Like I was running on the treadmill the other day and I was thinking like I'm grinding XP here. Like I'm playing World of Warcraft, grinding XP. I'm running on the treadmill, building up my stamina, building up my heart. And then I, I was just thinking about like, oh yeah, like my heart rate's going to be lower when I'm sat down. Yeah. And then that sort of made me think, like, um, I just don't really look forward to things anymore. Like, for quite a long time, there's nothing I feel like I've got to look forward to. Um, you know, I don't look forward to the weekend anymore. Like, I used to be like, yes, I can't wait to, you know, go skateboarding or hang out with the guys or, you know, drink or smoke or something. And now it's just like, you know, the weekend is just another day. I do the same shit. I, you know, I'll go to the gym. I'll just spend longer in the gym. And then after that, I just play a game or something on the weekends. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's just sort of a bit like, like I said before, purposeless. Like, I, I don't know. I think a lot of it for me is, like I said, the community aspect. Like, um, just it feels like since school over time. I remember people saying this years ago. But it's like your my social circle is... Um, got smaller and smaller, especially where um, instead of going into work, um, I was sort of like, you know, a workplace, I was self-employed. And then I was just talking to less people. There's, you know, just naturally, there's less people to talk with. So I've got less people to do things with. And then that's just the, the point I'm at now but like I do work in a workplace now but I still find myself being like quite reserved like I get like an invite to go to a social event and my instinct is to be like why would I go to that like I've got to isolate myself at home I've got to make sure I'm on my own um, it's like I'm more comfortable being like miserable <laughs> yeah and I guess a lot of it is um, where it might be like a party and then I will feel sort of awkward to go to a party because it's like a, it's a drinking event and I don't drink. And I, I find that quite a turn off where I'm like, should I, I should just stay at home? Like I prefer, I like going and doing like an activity at the moment because I just feel like what's the point in going to a place where it's like you're here to drink? I don't drink. Um, but you know I do know some people in the gym where like I'll be like oh should we meet up at the gym and that's great like we'll have a workout we'll talk I really value that um, we're both sort of on the same wavelength and I guess it's more maybe I just need to meet more people like that um, 
Yeah, so that's why I'm going to try out this um, community mental health thing today. Just see what happens, really, see what the outcome of that is. Maybe it's something I'll be interested in helping out with. Maybe it's not, I don't know. But like I said, I'll try it out. I'm willing to. Hopefully it's something cool. Yeah. I'm looking for something where I can provide something of value to as well. Like, you know, that's what I miss about making the videos. Um, I'd be speaking to like the communications team at the NHS or like there'd be some patients involved and we'd all be like, yes, we're making something like people going to like this or I don't know. I mean, a lot of the times we'd make a video and like it'd just be on their YouTube channel and not many people would really watch it. But I don't know. The people who were involved in making it liked it. That's all that mattered, really. I mean, as long as it helps some people. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, that was about all I wanted to say, really. Um, just a quick one. Just uh, felt like I had some stuff on my mind that I wanted to say. So yeah. Thanks for listening. If you like hearing me ramble, please press that subscribe button and I'll carry on talking to you guys. <laughs> See you in the next one.